Hey guys, it's your boy Booby Bandit here, aka Ted Boobs, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys my armory in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. And as you can see, I have two of the most rarest guns in the game. That is the AK-12 RIP. It is absolutely fantastic. With coming in with a damage of plus one damage, plus two accuracy, with a minus mobility and less ammo in the clip. So this is a pretty badass gun. I love it. This is my best. This is my most favorite gun. I use this gun almost every single game I play. Coming in at number two of my most rarest guns, I got the Melee Warehorn, Whale Horn. Sorry about that. Coming in with negative two damage, negative one accuracy, and plus two handling. Uh, I don't know what to say about this gun. I like it's uh. I like this other one right here, the subverter, better because it has plus two damage. So yeah, but coming in and coming in at number three, got the ARX 160 steel bite coming at with plus three damage, negative two accuracy, and negative one fire rate. The only thing that kills me about this gun is this fire rate because this fire rate is already sucky enough. But overall, this gun is pretty badass and sweet. It takes in like one or two bursts it kills people instantly no matter where you hit them I absolutely love this gun coming in at number four we got the bow 27 inferno with plus one fire rate plus two handling negative three mobility this gun right here is absolutely overpowered just like any bow is everybody knows the bow is like one of the most overpowered guns in the game other size the AK not other size but besides the AK-12 but overall I love this gun well I don't ever use it that much but I just like the way it looks I mean look at that it looks badass right look at that look at that all right coming at number five we got the crossbow conqueror uh don't use crossbows at all but fuck it it's an elite why not keep it in my damn inventory <laughs> coming in at number number six we got the EM1 Polar Vortex with a uh, plus one fire rate, plus two handling with a negative three mobility. I don't use this gun at all, but I have to say it is pretty awesome. I love the beam. The beam shoots green. Fucking green laser beams, guys. Fucking awesome. Coming in at number six, I think. Six, seven. I lost count at this point. We got the Heavy Shield Nugget. Don't use fucking Heavy Shields. But look at that. It's fucking sweet. All right. Coming in at number seven or eight, we got the IMR Boar Strike with plus one damage, negative two accuracy, negative one fire rate, plus two range. This gun right here is overpowered in hardcore. Like, one burst kills instantly. Like, the first two... Not the first two like bullets out of one burst fucking kills. Overpowered. All right, coming in at number eight or nine, we got the Lynx Tack Driver. Don't snipe that much, but it has a negative one damage, plus three accuracy, negative one fire rate, negative three handling. I guess it's an okay weapon. I don't really snipe that much, but you guys tell me down in the comments what you think. All right, next we got the Maul's Oppressor. It is the elite version of the Maul's um, laser guided missile. Uh, don't really use the missiles that much, so <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this one. But going on to the next one, we got the Mayhem Bull. All right, it's the elite version of the Mayhem. Like, you, you should already know that. But look at that. It looks absolutely badass, guys. Look. We got the MK-14 Eagle Eye. This gun right here is an absolute beast in hardcore. One shot, one kill. Fucking amazing. Next, we got the MP-443 Grok Feeling Lucky. Uh, it's got a negative one damage, plus two range, negative one handling, with a built-in ACOV scope. And it's also a two-round burst. Next one, we got the MP443 Grok 1 Wood with negative 1 damage, negative 1 accuracy, plus 3 range, and negative 1 handling. I would say I would like this one better than this one because I would say I like the 1 Wood better than the Feeling Lucky because I don't like ACOV scopes and its range is a hell of a lot better. Look, plus 3 range over, over, the, over plus 2. What's well, not to say? 
and next we got the PDW Chucker. I haven't really used this gun. I just got it the other day and I forgot to record, but this is also a badass looking gun. I'm, I'm guessing it has more ammo in the clip with negative one accuracy, negative one damage, and negative one, I don't know what that symbol right there means, the last symbol, but yeah. Then we got the Pyatech Exploit with negative one accuracy, negative one fire rate, plus three range. If you don't know already, you can sit here and hold this gun, aim in down sight. When you first shoot it and hold down the trigger, it jumps, but it levels out and then it has no fucking recoil at all. Coming in next, we got the RW1 Rail Driver with plus three damage, negative three accuracy. Absolutely over fucking powered. Nothing else to say. Next, we got the Sack 3 Blood and Glory, negative one accuracy, plus one fire rate, negative two handling, plus two mobility. Um, once you get all the stuff unlocked for this gun, this gun absolutely wrecks shit. I mean, absolutely overpowered in like hardcore or something like that or free-for-all because you just run around and just sit there and hit fire to shit. All right, next we got the Stinger M7 Firehawk. This gun has no stats, but it looks absolutely fucking fantastic. All right, next we got the XMG Bacon and Eggs. Um, this gun right here is absolutely sexy. The only thing I hate is that it's dual wield and it shoots like shit unless you're in lockdown mode. Uh, but it's got plus three damage, negative three accuracy. Well, guys, that's it for my um, elite guns that I have so far. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. But uh, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and if you haven't, subscribe. I'll be making more of these videos. And I will also be doing uh, openings of the supply drops that I get and uh, hopefully getting some elites and maybe you can see my reactions to what I do when I get those elites but yeah this is it for the video guys I will see you later and always bye